Hey there everyone, my name is JW and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got another awesome tank tutorial video for you. But first, let's head over to the tanker yard and introduce another person to the tanker yard. So if you want to get into the tanker yard, you gotta join the Discord server. Link is down in the description to come join us, join us, join us. We are lovely, friendly people. And find the tanker yard section in the Discord server and enter your Java, Bedrock, Xbox, PlayStation, or Nintendo Switch gamer tag to be put into the tanker yard. But with that said, let's introduce our new tanker. Today we are introducing the Just Reaper. He's just a Reaper, folks. Just a Reaper. The Just a Reaper. Or is he serving justice? Because he's the Just a Reaper. Who knows? You guys let me know. All right, so with all that said, let's get into what we're building today. And today we are building this, the Mark V tank, a World War I British iconic vehicle that basically shaped the way of future warfare. So let's go build it, shall we? So we're going to head over to Britain, Great Britain, United Kingdom. And we're going to build the Mark V male. There is a female version. Basically, all you do is remove the cannon and put in another machine gun. All right. So with that said, let's get started. There's a lot of materials in this, so bear with me. We're going to grab polished interstate, stone brick slab, stone brick stair, green terracotta, stone slab, stone stair, white concrete, red concrete, and block of coal to start out with. Because the track section on this is kind of awkward. So once you find a spot, here we go. We're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Skip 3 and do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Here we go. We're going to do 1 and 1. 1 and 1. We're going to put placeholders here. And do 1 and 1. And put another one and one on top of that here we're gonna put a green block here and here and put another one and a one and a one and a one like so on the front here placeholder placeholder and a one and a one i'll we'll put a block on top of that and we're gonna do a one and a one do another placeholder like so and we're gonna do another one on the front here, we're gonna do a stair and a stair. And this green could go one, two, three. One, two, three, like so. Have three blocks. And on the top, we're gonna to do two, two white blocks on each side with a red in the middle. There we go. In fact, that eliminates those two. Then we could come back here and grab our Smooth white slabs and red nether brick slab. So here we're going to do one, two, three slabs. One, two, three slabs. Like so. Then here we're going to do two and two. And another two. And another two. And then two coal blocks. And then a green, and a green, and two greens on top of the coal blocks. And then your stair, gonna go like this, and up, and then up and up, well slabs. And then we're going to do a stair. And then we're going to do two slabs here. And then the slabs are going to continue all the way from over here, like so. There we go, track sections are done. Now you get to use upside down stairs for that too if you want to. I'm just showing you two different styles you guys can go with. Alright, so then slabs are going to go all the way across here. Now we're going to put in the sponsons. Put three on each side. And two upside down stairs like so. In fact, we can remove this one and put an upside down stair like so. Remove this one, put an upside down stair. There we go. And again, over here, upside down stair, upside down stair. 
and slabs on top. There we go. On the front here, we're going to put a row of stairs and then slabs coming down. Like so. And this is going to stretch all the way to right here. And then you're going to double it up like so. And then we'll put stairs right here. Bring that over. Bring that over. I'll put one there. And one here. Upside down stair there. And upside down stair there. And the same over here, except we're going to have to go one, and then out, and then like that. Like so. And on the top here, two quartz slabs with a red nether brick, and one that red nether brick coming out from the side. And then two quartz slabs like this, and then red nether brick. Like so. And from the back here, you can do stairs. And then two rows of slabs. And on this one down here, you can fill in the inside. And then on top, we can do two slabs, two slabs, and then like so. And then here, you're going to fill the space in here. Like so. All right, and to help with uh, plugging a few of the holes, we can actually grab our smooth quartz stairs, remove those, and place upside down quartz stairs here. That should help uh, fill it in a little bit more. It's awfully cramped in there. All right, so we don't need that, we don't need that. All right, we're gonna put two more slabs here, raised up. But that is it of these materials. And we're going to grab our last few materials, which will be andesite wall, stone, smooth stone slab, and oak wood, oak slab. Or I guess I'm using petrified oak slab. Doesn't really matter what wood you put here. You can put any wood here. As long as it goes across like that. Your smooth stone is going to go back here. And your andesite walls is going to go in front. Like so. And that should be all the building materials. All done, yes. All right. So now we're gonna grab our cosmetic materials, which will be birch trapdoor, dark oak wood trapdoor, iron trapdoor, end rod, dark oak wood fence gate, dark oak button, ladder, oak sign, heavy weighted pressure plate. And the heavy weighted pressure plate's gonna go right here. Done. Your ladders on the vents here for the engine. All right, your end rods, one's gonna go right there, one right there, one at the front, and one right there. Your dark oak wood fence gate, it's gonna go there to extend the barrel. Very nice. Your iron trap doors, gonna go here, right there, on the back. And on the front. There we go. Your birch trap doors gonna go here and here. Your dark oak wood trap doors, two right there, one right there, one underneath. Same on this side. One right there, one right there, two right here. And that should be all of them. Next, your dark oak buttons. You're gonna go everywhere where you can put them on a flat surface. Like so. And all we have left are our oak signs, which there are gonna be a lot of. We're gonna put two here. All right. Remove that one and just put it right there on the front right there and all along the bottom. This is the time consuming part. There we 
we go. On the sides right here. And then again on this side. And on the front. Not there, but right there. And that should be it. And with that, you have successfully completed the Mark V tank. British World War I tank. I mean, well, there's not really much else to say other than it's a tank. So if you guys like this video, please hit that like button wherever to go move to and hit that subscribe button as well. I would love a new addition to my Vundaba wonderful subscribers. Thank you guys so, so much for doing like you do, liking, subscribing, and all that stuff. It really means a lot to me. And also don't forget to join the Discord server. Link is in description. Come join. Come be part of the tanky yard. Come do stuff. Come do stuff. I love doing stuff. So come join us. And apparently I forgot to put trapdoors on that one. Oh well. So with all this said, remember like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>